evil programming through foundations. Evil programming through foundations. Foundations are empowered by evil altars because foundations are spiritual. In fact, your spirituality or your priesthood is determined by the graces upon your life that can help you to transact in the spirit realm. A true priest is one who can be able to transact in the spirit realm and bring changes. Praise the name of the living God. You know when you stand as a priest and you make declaration, you are programming people's lives. Even altars programs people's lives. Praise the name of the living God. So as a priest, you are able to deprogram and program. Praise the name of the living God. So that if there is an old programming over your life, you are able to deprogram it. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And program your life afresh. Praise the name of the living God. And that is what we'll be looking at uh, even through the word of God. Acts chapter 8, uh, from verse 18, to Naweza Kwanzia Pare. The Bible says, when Simon saw that the Spirit was given uh, at the ring on of the apostles' hands, uh, he offered the money and said, give me also this ability so that everyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. Peter answered, may your money perish with you because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this ministry because your heart is not light before God. Repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord. Perhaps he will forgive you for having such a thought in your heart. For I see that you are full of bitterness and captive of sin. Then Simon answered, pray to the Lord for me so that nothing you have said may happen to me. Hapa tunangalia maisha ya Simon ambaye alikuwa kule Samaria. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba alikuwa amewashangaza watu wengi through his magic, through his sorcery and witchcraft angefanya mambo ya kutisha. Na watu walikuwa memjua Simon as a great power. Ha? Yani walikuwa naona kama ye ndiye mungu wa eneo hilo. Lakini wakati Philip alikuja na nguvu za rao mtakatifu akatenda ishara za ajabu. Hata Simon mwenyewe akaamua kulizain na kuachana na witchcraft na akamuamini kristo yesu. I believe up to that level, Simon was genuine. Alikuwa anataka, achane na hizi nguvu za giza, achane na hizi nguvu ambazo, ameona kuna nguvu zingine zaidi za mungu. I believe this was a, 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 a conviction from the Holy Spirit. Na sijui ni nini ambayo alifikiria, because aliena na noti za pesa. Na akasema, hata mimi nimekuja. Nataka muniwekere mikono. Nipoke hu uwezo. Na akawambia, mimi sitaki tu kujazwa. Nataka na mimi nikiwekerea watu mikono kama nyinyi, vile munafanya. Because nimewacha ile angu ya zamani. Nataka hii mpia. Niwe ninawekerea watu mikono, wanajazwa. Petero alipo muangalia, akadisan ya kwamba huyu mtu bado anaongozwa na ule msizi wa kare akamwambia wewe utaangamia na pesa zako ni kwa sababu number one, you are full of bitterness and you are still a captive of sin inawezekanaje mtu ambaye alimwamini Yesu Bado ni captive, bado ni mateka wa dhambi. It is because salvation is a process. We are saved, we are being saved, and we shall be saved. Praise the name of the living God. The minute you receive Christ, if Jesus came at that moment, you go to heaven. Kama ule muizi moja. 
ambaye aliambia Yesu nikumbuke. But if you continue to live this life, if you are going to have life and have it in abundance and fulfill your assignment and mandate in this life, there is a work that may be done in you. That is what we call deliverance. That is a process we call sanctification. Praise the name of the living God. Nire kuoshua. Kire kirifanya petero wa muambia kwamba these two scriptures are very important. Deuteronomy 29, 18. Make sure that there is no man or woman, clan or tribe among you today whose hearts turn away from the Lord. Uh, our God to go up and worship the gods of those nations. Make sure there is no root among you that produces such bitter poison. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So this bitter poison ambayo tunaona hapa is caused by people who go and worship other gods. People who are involved in idolatry. Praise the name of the living God. There is a bitter poison ambayo huwa inabaki katika maisha yao. Na watu kama hawa, wasipoelewa, wanaweza kana huo msizi wa uchungu. Praise the name of the living God. Umeandikuwa pia in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 5, C to 8, that no one misses the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up and causes trouble and defile many. How ni watu ambao wameamini sasa wanazungumuziwa? Na wanaambiwa ya kwamba, if you miss the grace of God, there is a bitter root that can grow in your life, and they can cause trouble, and, and you can cause trouble, and you can defile many people. Praise the name of the living God. So you are still a believer, you can be a servant of God, but there is a root of bitterness in you that you can defile many and you can cause trouble. Praise the name of the living God. He natuonyesha because of the background of Simon. Kuna kazi alikuwa na itaji kufanyiwa katika maisha yake. Na especially wale in our background, tuliusika na mambo kama ya witchcraft. Wale ambao jamizetu ziliusika na mambo ya divination. Na mambo kama yale. Usipo kubalia mungu wa kusaidie. Kunaweza kuwa bado, you are producing that bitter poison katika maisha yako. Na hii ndiyo unaonanga ya kwamba kuna watu waliyokoka, lakini bado, the way they operate ministry or they do ministry is totally different. Because people who are in divination and they are in sorcery, they are work, they work like the devil. They don't want anyone to progress. They don't want anyone to move forward. They don't want anyone rising above them. And so their work is to bring down anyone who tries to rise. Because that root of bitterness, of divination, of witchcraft is still in their lives. And these are foundations that we need to address in our lives. Because if we don't do that, we may not be able to rise according to the will of God. Kwa sababu uliona ule msichana ambaye Paul alikuwa nasema, alikuwa anasema hawa ni watumishi wa mungu, muweze kuafuata. Lakini Paul akakamea ile roho. Kwa sababu haikuwa roho wa mungu. Lakini ilikuwa inaongea ukweli. That is the danger with the spirit of divination. Kwa sababu, lazima ujua kwamba hata shetani Anajua ni nini kinafanyika ulimwengu wa roho. Anaweza, he can be able to see into the future. Praise the name of the living God. Na watu wamba wanatumia hizi familia spirita, wanatumia spirit of divination, wanaweza kukuambia mambo yako. Wanaweza kukuambia hata the future. Lakini ya watumi roho wa mungu. But you know the kwamba, the devil masquerades as an angel of right. Ata kuambia ukweli, Lakini ndani ya ule ukweli, hameficha uharibifu. Praise the name of the living God. There are so many people who are using those kinds of spirits to tell you about your life. Wengine wanasoma mikono. Wakuambia juu ya nyota yako. Na mambo kama yale. Na wanaeza kuambia mambo ambayo ni ya ukweli. I gave you a story of these two women ambao moja alipopata mtoto. They used to go and dedicate her 
their children as per the tradition to a witch doctor, to a diviner. Na wakati walipo enda pale, huyu mke wapili alipo za mtoto. Wakati walipo mpereka pale, yule diviner akasema huyu mtoto di atakuja kusaidia hii jamii. Yeye ndiye amebeba destiny kubwa katika watoto wale wengine wote. Waliporudi nyumbani, uh, yule mama yake kwa sababu angehitaji msaada wakati mwingine the older wife angekuja anashika huyu mtoto anatoka naye nje anamkasi anamwambia we hata utawahi kuinuka ha? because sasa alikuwa naona wivu kwa sababu huyu mama ametabiriwa ya kwamba mtoto wake ndiye atakuwa msaada sasa anasema huyu na ni second wife itakuwaje mtoto wake ndiye atakayeinuka but you see hata Bathsheba ha? Solomon ndiye alikuwa mfalme praise the name of the living god katikati ya wanawake wale wengine wote Solomon alikuwa na unakumbuka ya kwamba Bathsheba hakuolewa na njia inayofaa but finally she is the one who produced a king so mambo ya destiny inakuanga na Mungu praise the name of the living god haiko hata mikononi mwa wazazi jina la Bwana lipewe sifa so wakati mtoto alikuwa mkubwa alingangana sana kuinuka katika maisha because of the curses na mambo ambayo alikuwa amenenewa ya ku silence you know words have the power of life and death and words can be used to program people's destiny praise the name of the living god that is why the bible says you shall rise against every word that rises against you in judgment so wakati alipokuwa mkubwa akastrago masomo angerudia kila mahali ni shida akasoma na shida nyingi bado jamii yake imefinyilika baadaye ikawa ni shida kupata kazi na wakati alipokuwa mkubwa akawa ni mtu ambaye sasa ako desperate and he finally surrendered his life to Jesus na akawa ni mtu ambaye anajitoa kuomba na kutafuta Mungu na wakati moja akiomba Mungu akamwonyesha dream akamwonyesha ya kwamba you have you carry a seed of greatness lakini akampeleka wakati alikuwa mdogo akaona akishikwa na mama yake mkubwa na mama yake mkubwa akihip cases akimwambia hutawahi kuinuka wewe sio wewe utasaidia hii jamii anafungwa na wakati alipata hiyo revelation katika dream akaanza kujiombea akaanza kujif, uh, kujifungulisha katika maisha yake na vile alivyoendelea kujiombea destiny yake ikaanza ku manifest akaanza kubarikiwa na finally akatimiza kile ambacho kilikuwa kimenenwa akawa ndiye alisaidia ile jamii yote Praise the name of the living God. So, listen to this. How comes ya kwamba kile aliambiwa aliambiwa na diviner. Aliambiwa kwa nyumba ya mchawi. Hakuambiwa katika nyumba ya Mungu. Ya kwamba yeye ndiye anabeba nyota. Yeye ndiye anabeba ukuu wa kusaidia hii jamii. Lakini baadaye Mungu anakuja ana confirm. Na baadaye Mungu anamsaidia kufanyika. Nilisema hivi ya kwamba wakati shetani anatumia watu the devil is not a creator he is a creature na kwa hivyo anapotumia watu the devil can only use you according to your gift according to your capacity and that is why even when those who are agents in the kingdom of darkness they are recruiting they also recruit people who have the capacity they have the potential they look for the bright children in universities they look for people who are talented they are gifted ili watumie kile ambacho ili watumie capacity ambayo walio nayo ukiona mtu yeyote anatumika vibaya kama paul wakati alikuwa anaitwa saul when he was persecuting the church praise the name of the living god hallelujah paul alikuwa threat kubwa kwa kanisa na alikuwa mnaleta massive destruction because of his capacity Bwana asifiwe sana I'm sorry to say wengine kama tungebaki uf, katika ufalme wa giza sisi ndio tungekuwa tunajenga zile makrabu kubwa ha? za watu kunya kuja kunywa pombe kama tungekaa katika ufalme wa giza tungefanya mambo kule mabaya sana praise the name of the living god lakini mungu akatutoa kule 
Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. That is why the Bible says God has given his gifts uh, even to the rebellious. Praise the name of the living God. What am I trying to say? Mungu alikuwa na mzuiria baramu na anamwambia usiende Kurani wana wa Israeli. Kwa sababu gani? Mungu alikuwa anajua baramu ako na uwezo wa Kurani. But ukiangalia background yake, alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini ni mtu ambaye angekuwa manipulated kwa sababu ya tamaa ya pesa, kwa sababu ya ule msizi wa divination angeenda na angeinuliwa madhabahu ambayo pengine angefanya mambo ya Kurani praise the name of the living god wapendwa jiombe misingi yako kama kuna msizi wa uchungu Mungu akuweke huru Praise the name of the living God. Kataa kutumiwa na shetani kwa njia yeyote. Kama kuna mjengo ulijengwa. Praise the name of the living God. Hata kama huo mjengo uko in your bloodline, mahali ambapo umezaliwa, mwambie Bwana, set me free. When you see your family line kulikuwa na mambo kama hayo ya witchcraft, ya divination. Bibi nasema in the book of um, Hebrews uh, chapter 7 uh, and verse 9. Uh, one might even say that Levi who collects the tenth uh, paid the tender through Abraham. Huyu rawi angeita Abraham great grandfather. Lakini bibi nasema alitoa fungu la kumi akiwa wapi? Akiwa wapi? Sasa kile your great grandfather, your great grandmother alifanya hata wewe ulifanya ukiwa kwa mifupa. Kama alikuwa diviner Kama aliingia kwa miungu mingine, kama aliingia kwa witchcraft, hata wewe ulipata hiyo bitter poison katika maisha yako. Na lazima umwambie Bwana, ondoa hiyo bitter poison katika maisha yangu. Thank God ya kwamba Rawi alitoa fungu la kumi kwa sababu alitoa fungu la kumi akiwa ndani ya mifupa ya Ibrahimu. Lakini sisi tunajua ya kwamba the kind of backgrounds we have come from Hata Timothea anaambiwa ya kwamba ninaona imani iliyo ndani yako ambayo haina unafiki. Hiyo imani ilikuwa ndani ya nyanya yako. Iko ndani yako, ilikuwa ikaja ndani ya mama yako na sasa iko ndani yako. Wakati tuna deal na issues of foundation, tunaangalia mambo ambayo tumeyatoa katika hata bloodline yetu. Mambo ambayo tumeshikanishwa nayo na wale walio tuzaa. That is why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 51 and verse 1, Listen to me, you who pursue righteousness, and who seek the Lord. Look to the lock from which you are cut, and to the quarry from which you are hewn. Yani unafuata mungu, unapenda haki, you pursue righteousness, lakini mungu anakuambia, for you to know what you are dealing with. Angalia ule muamba ambao ulitolewa. Angalia hiyo jamii ambayo ulitoka. Yale mambo walikuwa yanafanya. Hayo mambo yako na uwezo wa kufuata maisha yako usipo ya shurikia. Bina ongea jia katika itabu cha Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 4. The Bible says, and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says uh, to Jerusalem. Your ancestry and birth were in the land of the Canaanites. Your father was an Amorite, and your mother a Hittite. Yani kumanisha Jerusalem, wakati wewe kabla wana wa Israeli hawaja kukua pale, wale walio ishindani yako ni wa Amori na Wahiti, ambao waliabudu miungu mingine, na sikuire ulipo zariwa, kitovu chako haki kukatwa. Kukosa kukatwa kitovu ni kumanisha nini? Bado unalishwa na yare madhabahu. Kuna watu wameokoka na kitovu chao hakijawahi kukatwa bado wanalishwa na yale madhabahu na zile nguvu za mahali ambapo walitoka praise the name of the living god hata city kama hii tunafaa kuinenea na kukata kitovu chake kwa sababu hata miji iko na misingi iko na waanzirishi iko na wale walinua madhabahu kwanza Na niposa uneza kuta wengine wetu Zile vita tumepigana Ni vita vikali Umejaribu kuinuka kwa muda Haujaweza Kwa sababu kide ambacho unadil nacho Ni ancient ruins 
lakini lazima ujipe moyo umwambie Bwana lazima mimi niweze kuwa mwanzo wa kizazi kipya ambacho kitaweza kukutumikia ambacho kitaona matendo yako kwa urahisi ambacho kitaweza kukujua bila kungangana ambacho kitajua ufanisi praise the name of the living god bila kungangana lazima ukubali kupigana hizo vita because usipopigana unaambia watoto wako ya kwamba kuna vita ambazo wataendelea kupigana kwa sababu wewe haukuweza kupigana that is why Yesu alimwambia Simon uh, Peter alimwambia Simon you are still a captive of sin John 8:31 Yesu akaambia hawa ni wayahudi na walikuwa wameamini lakini Yesu akawaambia ya kwamba to the Jews who believed him Jesus said if you hold to my teachings you are really my disciples and then you know the truth and the truth will set you free ha huh? They answered him we are Abraham descendants and have never been slaves of anyone how can you say that we shall be set free Jesus replied I tell you the truth everyone who sins is a slave to sin He ndio ilifanya Peter amwambie Simon you are a captive of sin because ile maisha umeishi imekuweka katika utumwa Na Yesu akawaambia hawa ni Wayahudi wameamini lakini hata baada ya kuamini akawaambia lazima mkae katika mafundisho. Na mkikaa katika mafundisho kuna ukweli mtajua. Na ule ukweli utawaweka huru. Kwa sababu mkipokea huo ukweli na muufanyishe kazi maisha yenu yatakuwa huru. So Yesu alikuwa anawaambia in brief ya kwamba kuamini hakuja kuweka huru kabisa. It is a process. Philippians 1:6 Paul said I'm confident of this one thing that he will begin a good work we will bring it to completion God begins a, a good work and when you allow him through his word through the teaching of the word of God you receive the word praise the name of the living God hallelujah and the work that he has begun in your life continues Praise the name of the living God. May God continue with the good work uh, that he has begun in your life uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus. In this portion of scripture we have been reading concerning foundation, there is something I want you to see that is in the book of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 24. The Bible says therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down the streams rose and the wind blew and beat against the house yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand the rain came down the streams rose and the wind blew and beat against that house and it fell with a great crash. Let me explain this because our message uh, is dealing with evil programming that comes from foundation. You see, all these houses they were built. Yule alijenga kwa mwamba, alijenga. Yule alijenga juu ya mchanga, wote walikuwa wanajenga. Lakini kuna wakati ulifika nyumba moja hata kama imejengwa ikaja ikaanguka wakati wa dhoruba. So there are things that happened. They happened to both houses. But one house because of the foundation, that house came down. Praise the name of the living God. That means foundations because when we talk about foundation we are talking about the root of something. We are talking about the beginning. Foundation is the beginning of any building. Foundation also talks about the root where you come from. Foundation also speak about the supporting structure. Ni nini ambayo inashikilia nyumba hii ni msingi wake. So ni kumaanisha kwamba hata ukiona maisha yangu yamesimama there is a supporting structure. Yanakusimamisha katika huduma, the supporting structure inakusimamisha katika biashara. So the supporting structure kuna wakati inafika inakataa kusupport maisha yako. And that is why you may see people who rise wanainuka katika biashara 
lakini watakuja tu kuporomoka chini wanainuka katika huduma because hii nyumba ilijengwa hata atuambiwe ya kwamba ilianguka ikiwa halfway holiday ilikuwa imeisha ha? ni kufika tu ilifika wakati fulani foundations are the cause of people who rise ha? i used this statement sometimes ago that foundations they lie low sometimes and they wait for an appointed time yani misingi inakaa tu inangojea yani unaona mtoto amezaliwa ni mtoto mzuri ni mtoto mlembo hauwezi kufikiria mtoto kuna kitu anabeba hauwezi kufikiria mtoto atakuwa na shida hata anakuwa anaenda primary school anaenda hata secondary praise the name of the living god huyu mtoto hakuna kitu naona katika maisha yake lakini kuna mahali huyu mtoto atafika aanze ku manifest some things in his life ha? either mambo ambayo yanafuata jamii ana manifest magonjwa ana manifest uncommon failure chochote anajaribu kufanya hakiwezi kusimama ana manifest failure in marriage hawezi kusimamisha ndoa wakati amekuwa mtoto haungeona jambo lolote mbaya amekuwa huyu msichana paka wakati amekuwa mkubwa ndio kuna mambo yanainuka yanasema ya kwamba hautawahi simamisha ndoa hautawahi risha jamii yako ha? haya mambo yamekuwa tu ha? we can look at the story in the book of Matthew chapter 22 and verse 23 that same day the sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to him with a question teacher they said uh, moses told us that if a man dies without having children his brother must marry the widow and have children for him then wakasema now there were seven brothers among us the first one married and died and since he had no children he left his wife to his brother the same thing happened to the second and third brother right down to the seventh Ha? praise the name of the living god finally the woman died how in jamii iko na vijana saba kumaanisha ya kwamba hawa vijana wamekua hata wameenda shule lakini wakati tu mtu anajaribu kuingia kwa ndoa ha? kila mtu akiingia kwa ndoa kifo premature death na hakuna kuzaa wapili vile this was not common ha? hata kama sheria Musa ilikuwa inakubalia dugu akifa dugu yake anaweza kuchukua yule mke amuendeleshe kizazi this was hata hawa walishangaa ya kwamba hawa ndugu wote saba walikufa bila kuzaa na kila moja akioa anakufa ha? there is a, a certain programming iko katika ile jamii ya kwamba the minute you step into marriage number one, the, the spirit of infertility hauwezi kuzaa number two, premature death inaingia it's like a programming ambayo inakugojea wakati ulizaliwa hakukuwa na shida wakati ulienda primary hakukuwa na shida umeenda secondary hakukuwa na shida but at some point in life mambo fulani ambayo yako programmed katika misingi yanaanza kutokea katika maisha ya mtu praise the name of the living god foundations programs people's lives that is why hata hizi nyumba mbili zilipokuwa zinajengwa hazikuanguka wakati wa kujengwa but at a certain point in time kuna mambo yaliyokuwa yanafanyika hayakufanyika tu kwa nyumba moja yalifanyika kwa nyumba zote mbili lakini nyumba moja haingeweza kustahimili na lazima ingekuja chini this is the reason people rise in ministry but they come down This is the people people rise in business but they still come down. This is the reason people rise in their career but they don't finish strong. Hawamalizi. Jambo linakuja. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba misingi ukiinyamazia itangoja wakati fulani na itadhihirisha sumu yake kwa maisha yako. We unaweza kuinyamazia lakini kuna mahali itafika hiyo programming kama ni ya kuharibu doa 
wakati tumeingia kwa ndoa ndio itainua kichwa chake there are things ambazo zinaweza kama zimezimika katika maisha yako hazina effect katika maisha yako ha? lakini ukiangalia pattern ya watu wengine katika maisha unaweza kuona maybe the first born sister ameingia kwa ndoa hapo succeed na unaweza angalia kama msichana kingine hapo kako primary na ukafikiria huyu ni innocent huyu hata hana shida lakini mpaka wakati atafika pale mahali pa marriage ndio ile programming itainuka na iseme hata wewe hautaweza kufaulu kwa ndoa bwana asifuwe sana haleluya na kwa hivyo nikumaanisha ya kwamba wapendwa usiposhughulikia misingi yako na misingi yako iwe sawa kile ambacho unajenga siku moja kinaweza kuanguka na kikaleta aibu katika maisha yako unajua Ibrahimu vile alivyodanganya na mke wake na pia wakati Isaac alifika pale vile tu baba yake alivyodanganya hata Isaac alidanganya tu vile vile praise the name of the living god haleluya unakumbuka juda vile alivyolala na kahaba daudi alifika mahali wakati alipochukua mke wa mwenyewe akasema na mimi nilichukuliwa mimba na hii sumu ya hii roho ya immorality ndipo hata kama i am a man after god's own heart ilikuwa mahali singejuzuilia watu wale uletwa chini na misingi sio kwamba ni watu hawapendi mungu lakini mambo yanakuja inafika mahali fulani katika maisha yao paka unashangaa unauliza fulani nini imemshika bona amebadilika ha? praise the name of the living god mtoto ambaye alijulikana ni mpole dugu ambaye alijulikana ni mpole inafika mahali hawezi kusustain doa kuna force inamwambia misingi yako sio ya kukana mke mmoja your bloodline in a demand uwe polygamous unakuta mtu ameanza kwenda nje hata yeye hafurahi kile ambacho anafanya but there is a force ambayo inamsukuma inamwambia wewe hauwezi kukaa na mwanamke mmoja na yule mtu anaweza kujizuilia na akakaa na mke mmoja lakini kule nje ako na mpango wa kando ili aweze kusitiri ile ile tamaa na ili ile misingi pia ikaweze kutosheka ya kwamba imeexecute mandeti yake katika ile jamii Praise the name of the living God. Uh, may you live to overcome every evil foundation uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh, there are so many people who are struggling. Uh, there are so many people who have been brought down uh, by these foundations uh, that have programmed their lives uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I rise by the blood of Jesus uh, and by the power that resurrected Jesus from the grave uh, and I speak to my foundations. Uh, every evil pro programming uh, over my life uh, i deprogram you by the blood of jesus uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh.